additional question to you, Sam. As we all know, your competition is the most controversial <laughs> so far because of the venue and the issues that surround with it. So I, I just, I'm just curious, um, I, um, can you walk us through how you were able to arrive at that decision to still push through in competing? For those of, who, for those of um, you who know me, I'm not very bubbly, I'm not very perky naturally. Like I, I think who inspires me is Emma. Emma's always bright and happy, same with Sam. And I'm just like, oh my god, if only I could get like an ounce of their magic. Um, so what really gets me going is that this pageant is for girls who are very bubbly, very charming, very energetic. I'm more mellow and training myself, I took it as a sign. I, I was lucky enough to have a trainer who has given me great personality development trainings. And now I've achieved that kind of bubbly spark and that enthusiasm and that happiness. And I, I consider this crown like, this was for me because this is a new form of growth for me. So despite the controversy, I don't listen to any of that. I can't be more thankful for any crown. This crown was for me. I'm Robert from Modelo Bulletin, and good luck to the both of you. First question, um, if you will be given a government position, what would it be? A government position? Yes. Can I run for president? <laughs> hey, can I be your vice president? Hey, now we have a team already, yeah. elect us. <laughs> okay, second question. Um, aside from winning that crown, what are your unfulfilled um, after I win the crown, I'm definitely going back to finish school. I know that that degree is very important um, next to my crown, so that's what I'll be doing, um, graduating as a nurse and hopefully moving to my master's degree. Um, maybe after winning my crown as Miss Glow 2019, I really wanted to pursue to create my own swimwear line. Because I really love going to the beach and I love wearing bikinis and I love to share it with my bini bini sisters. So I think I will pursue that one dream of my after being Miss Globe 2019. Okay, last question. Uh, would you like to pursue a career in show business? Who wouldn't? <laughs> Given a chance, and why not? <laughs> okay, thank you, congratulations. Good luck. I have a question for you. Um, our people is by uh, some of our followers and uh, were asking us for your reaction to some of the Filipino pageant fans reacting negatively or bashing in GI. Um, anong message mo sa Filipino fans and uh, would you think na may effect yun sa chances mo sa MGI? Um, I know that this crowd is controversial, controversial and I know that people are saying it only creates more war, if you will. But how about instead of fighting something and adding to the negativity, we just greet it with kindness and just tell our girls who we continue to send to just go in there graciously and make that change. There's nothing that's gonna, you're not gonna stop anything if you continue to add to the hate. So that's my plan. Hi, Sam Larry. Daniel from Pageant Talk. Um, my question would be for Sam, uh, Samantha. Um, after MGI 2018, there was a viral video of the MGI president that he said that Philippines will, uh, will win next. So what would be your comment on that? I worked hard for everything I've had in life. I don't expect anything handed to me. So win or lose, I'm... I'm just going to give you the best show you've ever seen. Thank you, Sam, and good luck. And for Laren, um, this is for uh, this is a current event. Um, yung nabalitaan natin na for the GCPA, the prisons were being sent out because of the GCPA. And President Duterte said that they have to go back in. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, thank you. No more. One more last question. No more. Wala nang question. Kuya Celso, wala kang question this time. Walang follow-up question. Sure, ah, walang, walang advice. Walang magtatanong ng advice. Walang magtatanong ng soggy bill. Wala, ah, wala na. Close na. Close na ang tanungan. That's it. 